Hello everyone, welcome to the Geoecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on climatology. So in this session on climatology, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic that is smog formation. Of late, air pollution and smog has become menace in most of the cities. So let's understand this smog and its impact in this session. But before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also share the videos with others as well. So in last session, we discussed about the formation of smog in little way. Now here in this session, let's discuss about the smog formation and why it is important in today's situation. So smog is basically what? Smoke plus fog. So in details, we have discussed about fog in previous session. So if you have not watched the video on fog, you can go there and watch again. So there are various kinds of situations, various names for the fog. But here we are talking about smog. So smoke when mixed with this fog, which is called smoky fog. In short, it is called smog. So how it is caused? It is caused by burning of large amounts of coal or fossil fuel that we say and vehicular emissions and industrial fumes which are also called together as primary pollutants. So when primary pollutants actually mix with this fog situation then smog is formed. So smog contains soot particulates that is particulates matter. So we say this PM remember PM2 and PM10 on all those depending upon their size. So this is what we say is particulate matter. So when soot that contains particulate matters like smoke, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide and others. So these are the major components of that smoke which actually mixes with the fog to form the smog. So that is important. Now at least two distinct types of smog are recognized that we already know as sulfurous smog. So where you have sulfur dioxide and you have photochemical smog which is very very much interesting. So let's understand these two types. What is this photochemical? Why it is called photochemical? And why is it sulfurous smog and how they are formed? So let's discuss this smog formation in this session. So now first we need to understand is what is this primary pollutant and what is this secondary pollutant all about. So primary pollutant is an air pollutant emitted directly from a source. So if it is directly coming from a source and actually mixing with the fog then it is a direct smog formation of the primary primary pollutant but secondary pollutant is what it is derived from this primary pollutant only it is not directly emitted for example it forms when other pollutants that is other primary pollutants react in atmosphere so now when primary pollutants react among themselves they derive so this is a derivative of the primary pollutant that we need to understand and examples of secondary pollutant include ozone formation remember O3 formation we have discussed this in the atmospheric structure as well how ozone forms and which is formed when hydrocarbon that is what we see is coming from CFC chlorofluorocarbons and hydrocarbons that is important so hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides NOx combine in the presence of sunlight so this is where you have the formation of ozone and sometimes acid rain also forms when sulfur dioxide or nitrogen oxides react with H2O, water. So this is where these secondary pollutants are found. Now you'll ask me a question that why you are naming ozone as a pollutant because ozone is also beneficial. Remember ozone is beneficial in one way at the same time if it is hanging in the surface and mixing with the fog near the ground surface it is an important agent for health hazards. So that is the problem with the ozone, right? So natural ozone in the stratosphere is actually good. It is beneficial. But when this ozone formation starts happening because of this pollutant accumulation, then it is actually hazardous to our health. That's why we are concerned about it. So now let's understand the various types of this smog that we know. So first one is what you say is sulfurous smog where you have sulfur content, right? So sulfur content becomes important and it is also called London smog because first time it was identified in London city. So that's why it is all called, also called London smog. So remember this sulfurous smog is also known as London smog. Now sulfurous smog results from a high concentration of obviously sulfur oxides in the air and is caused by the usage of sulfur bearing fossil fuels, particularly coal. Now remember what happened. This sulfurous smog starts happening in London in 19th century. Lots of industrialization was happening and coal was used as the major energy source. So coal burning was the main reason and those coal had lots of content of sulfur. So the main source of power in London during 19th century, what you see here was the coal burning. 
So effects of coal burning were observed in 20th century and then this kind of smog situation was identified as London smog which is sulfuro smog. So this type of smog is aggravated when, when there is dampness it means there is moisture content and there is kind of formation of fog remember moisture is important. So high concentration of suspended particulate matter remember this SPM this high concentration of aerosol suspended particular matter is there and on which there is this situation of condensation happening because of cooler situation and it mixes with the pollutant so it forms this sulfurous smog in the air which is very hazardous or harmful. The next one that we have here is photochemical smog. Now very interestingly the word here is photo and remember wherever you say photo it's related something to light situation right so what is this photochemical this photochemical smog occurs when prominently in urban areas there have large number of automobiles now remember automobile pollution and nitrogen oxides are the primary emissions of these automobiles and photochemical which is also called summer smog remember that forms when pollutants such as nitrogen oxides that is primary pollutant and organic compounds which are the primary pollutants as well react together in the presence of sunlight and that is where the name comes photo. So here the sunlight is important to actually create this kind of reaction between these primary pollutants which is largely nitrogen oxide and other organic compounds hydrocarbons. So this is when they react they form this kind of smoke situation on the ground which is also remember we have learnt about the formation of ozone so this is what we say is this ozone formation happens here in this situation and where ozone becomes a major pollutant factor mixing with the fog that is called photochemical smog that is important. So whenever there is the word photochemical remember ozone formation happens by the reaction of these primary pollutants right. So photochemical smog is also called LA smog remember Los Angeles. So Los Angeles was actually identified with this kind of smog formation and that's where the name comes as LA smog or photochemical smog just parallel to the London smog. Now important is what are the effects of these smog? Now the atmospheric pollution levels of LA if you see Los Angeles or Beijing or Delhi or Mexico City all these cities that you see are the large cities the world cities and other cities are now increasing with this inversion of temperature that happens and generally when you have winter situation right. So what happens there is inversion layer created and between the earth and this layer this pollutants are trapped. So this is when they start hanging here near the surface of the earth and that is what is important. So it is usually high toxic to humans and cause severe sickness and shortens life and also leads to death in many cases. So smog is a combination of these airborne particulate matter that's why we keep hearing these words PM2, SPM2 all these levels of this particulate matter right. So this is what we say that it has soot material it has particles right. So they are invisible toxic gases including ozone, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide which are carcinogens remember cancer causing agents. So that is also important here. So cancer causing agents are also there that's why it is very fatal it is even leading to death in certain cases. So temperature inversions are accentuated and precipitation is reduced. This is where cloud formation doesn't happen and smog keeps hanging for a long time period for weeks. That is what one major reason is that it keeps affecting human health as it goes through this breathing action and people don't realize how it impacts their health in a long time. So smog related haze it also lowers the visibility that is another factor that we already have understood about it that smog also leads to this reduction in visibility and that is also a problem. So now let's take a case study that is important like many people requested that sir put some case studies specifically of Delhi. So now Delhi smog has actually covered a lots of news and even more life threatening situation have started becoming. So this is from Asia News Network if you see observe. So this is a smog situation that every year has now started coming since 5-7 years now in Delhi and what is the situation here in national capital region that we say Delhi or NCR for that matter this is very familiar situation. At the advent of winters that is nearby October and November this, this skyrocketing air pollution starts happening and 
Remember, the major reason ascribed to it is the stubble burning by farmers in the nearby states, that is in Punjab and Haryana. So it worsens the city pollution level. And that is where these pollution levels are rising, situation of the ground is cooler and fog formation along with these pollutants create this smog situation. Now meteorology also plays a role here in terms of understanding that as the region has a winter inversion layer that traps pollution. So this is where it is important not just crop stubble burning but alongside this problem of what you see is the inversion layer created that's also actually aggravates the situation so what happens in this situation here the low wind speeds prevalent at the dispersion of pollutants and this is where a major concern is at this time of the year when you see this there is a low wind speed so normally what happens it is not cleared away very quickly the temperature inversion layer results in trapping of these pollutants further and concentration is higher of pollutions of the suspended particulate matters. So vehicular pollution, industrial emissions, Diwali firecrackers. So Diwali is a festival which also has this tradition of bursting firecrackers and that also actually contributes in certain levels. So this is what is debated across the media that every year now this Delhi smog has become a menace for people in Delhi and national capital region in India. So what you observe here is this particular newspaper cutting and this particular image what you observe during this time now this situation the western part of the northwestern part of india at this particular time near october it has this stubble burning that we say right so after the crops are harvested the stubble is burnt and this leads to lots of fumes coming out lots of smoke release here and particulate matter release here and remember what is the situation if you understand this pressure belt change now during winters during October November the sun's movement is southwards and here again is what you see is high pressure and low pressure is shifted towards the equator now so the wind starts blowing in this direction what you see so direction of this wind is like this and that is the major reason because of this particular wind that carries it all the way to this NCR region so what you see the Delhi is smoked out every year or Delhi NCR region has lots of issues with this situation so the prevailing wind in this time of the year also actually adds to this problem so it's not just about stubble burning but the situation of this time of the year that there is this stubble burning accompanied with this wind situation which brings all the pollutants to Delhi. So wind direction is important and Delhi and other parts of the NCR has become one of the problem areas every year now during October where this kind of smog situation is triggered. So that is important to understand here. So now, I hope that you understood the concept of smog and in the sessions to come, we'll be talking more on air pollution. So stay tuned, stay safe and all the best wishes.